When teaching live, it is nice to have a digital dashboard of widgets to utilize throughout your lesson. The tool I want to share with you now is Classroom Screen, and this is simply just classroomscreen.com. To get started, you can create an account if you want to save up to three name lists, or you can just press Launch Classroom Screen and use the tools without logging in. Let's check it out. After pressing Launch Classroom Screen, you'll be brought to a blank classroom. It will randomly pick a background for you, but you can change that with the first widget. Clicking on background, you can choose a photo that is already in classroom screen. You can choose an animated photo, a color to have as a background, or you can load your own background in the back. You also have a webcam option at the bottom. So I'm just going to select one to change our background. The first widget that you see that we can add to our board is the random name widget. And you can click and move these around as you need. I'm going to type in some student names. And then I can hit choose and it will randomize and select a name for me. When teaching live, it's nice to have this randomizer at your disposal to quickly pick a student in your class. These widgets are resizable by clicking the arrow and moving it around. You also can X out of a widget or remove it from your board by clicking the red X. Let's go to the next one. You have dice and you can roll the dice. And you also see that all the widgets will have this gear at the top, which will open up to more settings for that specific widget. The next widget is a sound level one. And this is great for live classrooms. Obviously, I'm talking right into a microphone right now, so it's going to be loud. But you can have this sound level widget up when you have your students live in the classroom with you. And it will tell them if they're being too loud or if they're at a good sound level. Next, you'll see media. This is where I can put a picture on my classroom screen. I can add a YouTube video or my webcam. You can have your classroom screen already set up, maybe with a YouTube video, your random name organizer with your students' names all listed in here, and then you know that you're going to need a whiteboard so you could click the draw widget to create a whiteboard. And I also want my students to see a missing assignments list. When they come in, and so I could bring up this text widget and create a list of assignments that I'm missing. So when students first join the class, they immediately see if they're on the list to see if they owe me an assignment. So I can move that around and get this organized for my class today. Another thing you could add to get ready is a timer, and this could be a countdown until the time that class starts. I'm going to change it to, let's say, three minutes, and I could press play. So when students come into class, they can see the missing assignments here, and they know that class is going to start in less than three minutes. I could have my randomizer ready. I could have my YouTube video ready with my whiteboard to explain my lesson, and all my widgets are set up ready to present my lesson. You also have work symbols here, and these are great for visual cues for students to tell them what is expected of them right now. If everybody is listening, they're silent, you can whisper, you can talk to your neighbor, or we're all working together. So these are just great visual cues for what we're doing right now and if we should be talking. Another one that I like is a traffic light. This can be used for behavior, meaning that we're all green right now. We're doing really well. Everyone's listening. Everyone's paying attention. And if we need to go to yellow where we're starting to get too loud or we have people off task, we can go to that. 
and we hope that we don't have to go to the red light, but if you do commonly use a stoplight, the green, yellow, and red levels for your classroom, then you would have rules or procedures that the students do when you are on those certain lights. You do have a stopwatch to use as a widget as well. That one's pretty self-explanatory. A clock and a calendar. So these are the widgets that you can use to create an online classroom screen that can serve as your background for when you are teaching live. You'll see that I can hide these widgets here once I get everything set. I also have other settings over here and I can make this full screen. Mm -hmm.